Hi guys, this is Atha Lavi from Athaga.com and I'm recording a battle between the English and the French in to Total War Medieval 2, Britannia. So... So I've played a lot as Britain in this game and they are by far my favorite faction throughout the game even though they don't have um, good skirmishes, skirmishing cavalry I really like them for their heavy infantry and their knights so Right, so we've changed the number of Florians each each faction starts as starts with. So our army is going to consist of English knights. Stillman. This isn't going to be a huge battle. It's not going to be a minor battle too. Just somewhere in the middle, I guess. So the idea is for my infantry to hold their infantry in place and then we're going to charge them with the feudal knights. And these guys are just for chasing the enemy down when we're done with them. I meant the hobblers, I guess. Right. So let's Let's give him a unit of male knights as well. And I guess we could add a few town militia. We have the same amount of soldiers. I want to make them a little tougher. Because this game, in the battles in Medieval 2 are pretty easy. Especially compared to Total War Attila, which we have, which I have also recorded. You can check out our video of the battle between the Langobards and the Western Roman Empire. Right, let's just get started.
So we're going to listen to the general speak. So, we come to this. A battle. A battle, good Englishman, is your chance to better yourselves, to gain glory and position. There are risks, but it is my part to lead you so that such risks are small. This I promise, and more. If we all fight, then all will be ours. Loot, women, drink, honor, glory. Not a bad list, all told. Our French foes hold us in scant regard, lads. This is a mistake they often make, being arrogant and wine sodden in equal measure. Put your trust in your fellows, and in good steel, too. Then let us march to whatever God wills! Right, so let's start. Units let's start deploying our troops. move our army to So what they do, a common mistake the AI makes is they charge their arches ahead of the line without maintaining the line and without being backed up by cavalry or their infantry. That's going to cost them dearly. And the initial charge in this is really good with your cavalry because it's not like Total War Attila Room 2 where it's a charge gradually kills the enemy rather than straight away. In Total War Medieval 2, a charge is great. Let's see what they do effectively in armor. Great to focus on that guy. Oh, I forgot they break their lines from time to time.
this charge didn't work out too well. And their cavalry is approaching us. They're going to charge my arches. I'm not doing too well in this battle this time. Probably because I've played Total War Attila recently and the battle and the battles are quite different in each Total War game. I mean in Total War Attila uh arches can shred horsemen, cavalry. And that's not what you commonly see in medieval to total war. So you go after them, you go after them. Right, for time, we need you for the charge into the sides or the, the flanks and the back. Why aren't you... Come on guys, what's going on? I think I made my enemy way too tough. But there's a chance we can still win this. Right, so we eliminated one of their cavalry units. Sorry, I have the habit of pausing the game before... So it's, it might be a good idea skirt around them and get there what's this guy doing here oh that's my general So they're charging for my cavalry. We'll get them to... We'll get them distracted. Because they can't chase my cavalry. We'll just run away from them. Oh, they've broken the line. I can't believe them. Oh, 
general trend. And her general can be useful. Okay, our peasants are retreating. Do they have armor or no armor? So it's a good idea to eliminate these guys first. Charged into the from the front. We didn't need to do that. I thought these guys were pinned down with infantry. So a lot of their soldiers are retreating. A lot of their company. I mean, a company has 100 men, so around 100 men. So that's what I'm going to call it, I guess. Let's see what these guys can do. Oh, they can chase down there. I should have moved them. remains okay time to get eliminate the arches now I see George our men have slain the enemy general without him his troops will lose their will to fight. On, get over there, guys. So we are about to win this. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. All right, let's hunt them down. Just for some extra one. So, in my opinion, this is the easiest Total War games will get. And Attila is the hardest they will get. Or maybe in the future something comes up that's harder, I'm not sure. And I haven't tried Three Kingdoms yet. But Attila was the hardest. Even on easy. <coughs> Even on easy difficulty there was time there were times I would lose.
Okay, so after this battle ends, we are going to call an end to this video. Call it an end to this video, I guess. We won a good victory here. So if you're new to Total War, this is definitely the game you should get if you're trying Total War for the first time. I mean, it's amazing. Cool, it doesn't have as many factions, it's graphics, are outdated, a little outdated, but it's the most fun Total War uh, I've ever played. are utterly vanquished this is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals right so we're going to call an end to this video here um thank you for watching uh do visit our website ataga.com its link has been provided in the description um visit our facebook twitter and instagram accounts their link also will be provided in the description below. And thank you for watching. This is Atalavi. Goodbye.